Hey, this is Margaret Lange, continuing my series talking about the secrets that are buried in our chakras that have the answers to so many um, questions about why we do the things we do. Now, here's a question for you. Wouldn't you think that as women, we become more successful in our careers, more experienced and take on more responsibility as we get older and more mature in our careers? Wouldn't you think we would be more likely to really know our value and own our value and ask to be paid our worth? You would think so, but that is not actually true. And I want to talk a little bit about the first chakra reasons why. And so it's interesting that especially when we can have um, our career grow to the point where we actually have a really great job, there is a first chakra thing that holds us back very specifically from, again, knowing our worth and charging our worth. So the energy at the first chakra is around the tribal loyalty. And so there's a dual energy there that Carolyn Mace talks about because we also have that, imp that impulse, that natural burn board impulse to break free of our tribe. But the tribal um, energy to stay loyal to our tribe is ingrained into us in a very unconscious way from the time we're very, very young. And of course, being in a tribe means survival when you're young. And the tribal rules, spoken and unspoken, are very, very powerful because there's always punishment, um, ostracizing or abandonment or kicking you out of the tribe on the other side of breaking any of those spoken or unspoken tribal rules. So the tribal rule that we are really talking about here is how women are taught to be loyal to not rock the boat, to be polite, to not make other people feel uncomfortable, to actually um, manage our own energy as to not ruffle any feathers, right? And that can often be part of our first chakra. This is how it works in the tribe of men in the world. And so when we step into a job, the thing that we often feel the most is grateful that we have that job, especially when our career advances. And so this is how gratefulness um, can really work against us, right? So we're being the good person, we're being grateful, we're being polite, and that causes us from a very first chakra loyalty place to not charge our worth, to not advocate and advocate for ourselves, to not be assertive in the way that we need to be assertive for our value. And it actually leads us to often maybe coming into a conversation where we're negotiating for a new job or, or a new position or, or maybe more money. And we come into it with an apologetic energy we come into it with an energy that that gives a lot of reasons or excuses um or things that come from like i'm overworking or i'm tired or um you know this this job is a lot more responsibility and I, and there's a lot of apologizing in there that again is about us showing that loyalty to the tribe our gratefulness that we even have the opportunity to be there instead of doing what men typically do better, which is they ask, they ask, they ask, they ask, they ask, they ask for what they want, whether it's money or other things. And they don't worry so much as women do about how we're being perceived and whether we're being a lot of trouble or being ungrateful. And so the first chakra is so important to recognize because it is so unconscious. And I've talked about this in other videos too. When we're responding to a very unconscious, powerful first chakra energy like that loyalty, we will react in the moment from that energy and then later blame ourselves for that, shame ourselves for that, and say to ourselves, well, I haven't been earning as much as I should, or I'm overworking compared to other people. And it's actually my fault for being an idiot, for keeping my mouth shut, for not for not standing up for myself. So you see this double whammy. We're stuck with that energy, we act from that energy, and then later for the rest of our lives, we look back and we can never forgive ourselves for the actions that we took while we were being unconsciously puppeted by this first chakra energy. And so I want you to really think about that today. Have a moment of compassion with yourself about where maybe you have not advocated or you've gone in to have that big discussion 
um, with somebody over anything, any iniquity, and you started out apologizing or catering or making sure that you went overboard on showing how gracious and, grat and, and full of gratitude you are, instead of standing powerfully, asking for your worth, um, and owning your assertiveness, right? Not aggression and attack, assertiveness that allows you to stand up for yourself and your value and ask for what you want. I want you to just have a little bit more of understanding and compassion and know that as we work through these chakra energies and we use the chakras as a framework, it's so much easier to see these blind spots. And that means, of course, we can start clearing them away. And of course, I have a really big training coming up soon, and I'm gonna go deeper into these chakra energies, these lower chakra energies. I hope to see you there. Maybe we'll try to put the link here for you to sign up for that, and I'll be with you next time. Bye.